The municipality of Chatham Kent has passed a resolution that cottagers in Rondo deserve a 50-year lease extension. Do you agree, and how hard would you fight for this? A 50-year lease extension, now it's, uh, it's my understanding that the lease was originally written in perpetuity, and uh, for some reason that changed. I'm not too sure exactly why that changed. And uh, so, in my opinion, there seems to be a legal basis for, the, for that, to at least, the, the way the lease exists now to be challenged. So, there has to be, there has to be some, kind of, some kind of negotiation. Yes, I, I agree that that's, if that's what folks here want, then I think that's the way we should be proceeding. Because I just have this vision of all these wrecking vehicles coming in and destroying a lot of the pre-existing habitat along the beach right now. That, those houses have been here for generations. Stone walls that, that have been there 50, 60, 70 years being torn out. That's just unconscionable in pre preservation of the environment because those, those particular structures have been there. So the, the leaseholders here have very firm ground, in my opinion, to stand on when it comes to negotiating for a long-term lease. People here are good stewards of the environment, and that, that has to be put down on paper. And so, yes, of course I, 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 I would support that, but we have to have some kind of a basis by which to negotiate that, because it seems to me there's a lot of ideology that's, uh, that's basically pushing people out of the park right now, or attempting to do that. And there has to be some solid facts. There has to be some scientifically based facts that we can say, yes, the habitat is here. This habitat coexists with the existing structures. And to just <coughs> remove these existing structures is going to cause a lot more harm than good in the long term. Thank you, Ken. Doug? I'm happy to remind everyone that it was a former PC government under Minister Slobin, sorry, Snowblin, that came very close to achieving the goal that everybody in this room wants. It was only because the government fell that that did not get achieved. I've read with interest the Common Cochrane report, and I would, uh, and I stand as the uh, words that I used at the beginning of this uh, of this debate. Uh, I'm fully in favor of an extension to the lease. Um, I'll put this on the back table, and everybody can take it home, put it on their wall, and hold me accountable to it in about two and a half years or a year or whenever I uh, finally get up in the house and make my statement and look for the vote on the matter. Thank you, Doug. Murray? Um, Doug, the government didn't fall. They called it an election. Um, <laughs> so your government prorogued the House and got rid of all the legislation there, the important legislation, and didn't put it through with the majority when they had the opportunity to. But um, the thing is, is that in terms of a 50-year lease extension, yes. The reality is, is that if we are going to start to work to, in, to improve the area in terms of tourism and, and building of this area, there are many different things that we can do with that. For example, if people, um, say 10, 15 years from now, et cetera, want to sell their property, there's no reason why that we can't bring about ideas in order to buy that property and turn it into bed and breakfasts or something of the sort and, and, and to continue to build to get more people coming here and to, and to sustain the area. Um, I think that if families want to continue to live here, you should have the right. You've been here a long time. 